Well, in this lesson, we are continuing with our key concepts in geometry. And the next concept that we would like to look at is what is an angle, okay? Now, an angle is really the point at which two lines or rays intersect. Another word for intersect is meet. So where two lines or rays meet forms an angle. And the point of intersection or the point at which the lines or rays meet is called the vertex of the angle. Okay. Now quickly, let, just let's look at some quick examples just to see what this fancy definition is talking about. I th believe, as usual, the examples brings out the whole con concept a lot clearer. So we're speaking about rays. Rays can form angles. So let's look at a quick example here. Let's say I had a ray going in that direction. Okay. And let's say I had another ray going in that direction. Now, <coughs> sorry about that. Now what we're saying is that two rays, ray, and let me give our rays some names so that we can identify with what we're speaking about. Let's say this ray passes through the point uh, A and let's call this let's call this point B and let's call this point here C. Alright? Now this these two rays shares a common point. Now this point that they share is called the vertex this 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 word here vertex so that point that the rays share is called the vertex all right now each ray forms a side of the angle all right so here let me change my color let me use a a, a blue so ray a b forms so the ray a b <coughs> forms the side a side of the angle so this ray is a side of the angle the ray BC also forms another side because this angle would have two sides okay so this forms another side of the angle and I'm going to mark mark my angle now I'm going to mark my angle ray AB and ray BC forms an angle here okay so let's just mark that angle so this is the angle that ray a b and b c has formed okay and i'm going to call my angle x i'm just giving it a variable it doesn't matter yes it doesn't matter what you call it some you could call it theta you could call it beta it doesn't matter okay x just mean meaning that this angle could take any value all right it's just a variable this x just represents a number now in books, if we are speaking about the angle, so we have an angle here that is being formed at B, at the vertex, okay, at B, this point. So in books, if they are speaking about the angle that is formed at B, you will see some notation such as, you'll see the angle, and you'll see a slash like that, and it's A, and it is written as A, B, B C okay so if I'm speaking about the angle that is formed here at X at B at the point B I, I, I can call this angle angle A B C okay note for me please note that wherever the angle is formed when referring to an angle that letter should always be in the middle now if you notice the angle is formed at the point B hence I have B in the middle Okay. Also, another way of writing this angle, we could say this angle is the same as, this is the same as, if I'm referring to the angle at B, I could also say angle, I could say the angle C, B, A. Okay. So I could name the angle starting from, from the point C and I could say C, B, A. So it really doesn't matter which direction you go in. What is important is that at the point at which the angle is formed, that letter is in the middle. Okay, so good. Um, that's, that's just one uh, way we usually represent angles. All right. Later on in the course, we look at other ways. Uh, other examples of angles. We spoke about lines, that lines can form angles also. Let me just change this color quickly. 
so let's say I had a green line running in that direction okay and let's say I had sorry let's say I had a red line running in that direction okay and let's say I had a purple line let me use a purple let's say I had a purple line running in that direction oops sorry let's say I had a purple line running in this direction that's ugly yeah uh, sorry about that purple let me choose a color purple yes so let's say we had a purple line running in that direction now one important thing to note when working with angles is that let's call this angle angle a so i could say an angle is being formed between these two lines okay and i can call that angle angle a also another angle is being formed on this side of the line and i could all also call this angle angle B so right here I have an angle being formed between the purple and the green line and also on this side on the right side and I also and an angle is also forming down here between the green line and the orange line so we could call this angle angle C and finally we would have another angle being formed here between the green and the orange and we could call that angle D so where lines intersect or line segments in this case we had some we had some line segments here intersecting where line segment or lines intersect or raise uh, an angle is being formed okay bye bye